Wow. Howdy folks. I just got some new 3D filament in for printers, but it's from King Room. That's these guys right here. Now, the filament is just part of the story today because this has got all kinds of shiny multi colors in it. So it's going to make some pretty interesting 3D models. But what we do have is King Rune uh, KP3 is a machine as small as economical. It's been around for a little bit, but there's a new one on the block from them, and it just so happens to be right about right here. Yeah, right here. Yeah. The King Rune KP3 S Pro. And so we're going to open it up, assemble it, and we're going to review it. Now, economically, this baby is. It's got a fantastic price, and that's one of the great reasons to take a look at the King Rune as a, uh, I'm going to call it a starter, you know, but if you're wanting to get into 3D printing, this is a good place to start. All right, so let's get the box open. I turned this box up towards you a little bit so you can see. Uh, the base and the tower is already hardwired together. So you're gonna have to be very careful when you unpack this because it's really sort of almost like a one piece deal. We got a Z screw looks like, and we got a couple screws to go in here to put the whole thing together, but that's it. Like we'll get the, let's get it laid out so we can have a real good look. Okay, we got it all out of the box. Like I said, this is hardwired to the base, so you got to be very care be careful that we, you know, when you unpack it, obviously, because you don't want to create a problem. You don't want to break it like me. Yeah, uh, we've got this here, the stand for the uh, filament feed to for rollers, which is I like that. It's kind of different, but I, they have I've seen that before. Power cable, which will plug into the power unit, which is right here. Very heavy too when you pick it up. Nice thin little manual because there isn't a whole lot that you need to know really. This is a pretty much, you know, together kind of thing. But obviously you're going to have to screw this tower onto the base. And you also have a Z-Rod which is in this little plastic tube right here to set up in the coupling here to run this up and down. Everything else I think is pretty much, uh, yeah, she's pretty much hardwired for the rest of it. So, oh, and a nice box of parts, which is your tools and some other pieces that uh, you may or may not get into when we assemble. But that's, that's it. And like I said, price-wise, this is a good place for a starter. And it's a nice machine from what I've understood in the past rune has made some pretty you know king rune has been some pretty good stuff so uh let's get her assembled and uh let's let's make a project oh yeah Okay, quick note, real easy assembly, no brainer. But these clips, I put them on the side first and ran into the, the uh, I guess we'll say at the gantry stand here. So I had to move the clips to the front and the back to, so they aren't, they're not conflicting with anything. Also, I had to adjust the bed, which with this wrench is, again, simple, really easy task. So after some bed leveling and uh, added this little Bowden tube, which uh, is too long, it should have been trimmed back a little bit, but that's, We'll get to it, right? Uh, right now I'm running the Benchy, the standard typical little boat to make sure that the printer is doing everything it's supposed to do. Right now she seems like a really tight little machine. Uh, some of the features here, uh, like the slides they've got here, uh, that is incredible. That is really neat. You know, that is a really nice item. They also got, you'll notice there's a slide here. These are, I believe these are aluminum track slides from what I understand. And so you've only got the two uh, rubber bands, like some people say, to run the other two accesses, the X and the Y axis, those run back and forth. But the overall build on the machine, it's heavy and it looks like it's got some nice features. Also has a really nice touch screen back here that's, that's kind of basic, but heck, it will do everything that you should need to do with your 3D printer. So, you know, no criticism. It's, it's, it is a very nice machine at this point. What we need to do is talk about the upgrades or at least the specifications of what makes this machine uh, a really good buy. While we're printing a project on the King Rune, which was gonna look pretty impressive, I thought we'd talk about it. The Rune, obviously, it's a very sturdy cantilever 3D printer, 
but they've upped the, the new Pro has upped the build size. So we're now at 200 by 200 by 200 or 200 cube size, if you like. Yeah, that's a step up from the old uh, King Rune uh, KP3. So the new Pro has a little bit bigger build plate. Uh, we still use the 20 by 40 uh, aluminum extrusion uh, pieces that you can see on there. The uh, arms, by the way, are steel. Those are linear rails made of steel, which she's running back and forth on, which, you know, makes her really run nice and smooth and very accurate. The um, direct drive which is on the extruder there uh, is a it's a really nice uh, feature for any 3d printer because it allows you to run stuff like tpu and wood and pla and stuff through it so again that's a really you know it's a good thing to have and it sort of reminds me of the old volcano head a little bit shorter like the v6 but you know it's a good extruder uh, it has a one layer uh, cooling fan system and also has a single fan for the hot end uh, upgrades also I see a uh, textured glass build plate uh, there's a filament monitor sensor now on that left side 32-bit motherboard with lots of expansion slots if you're into that sort of thing the uh, build size in US terms would be about 7.8 inches so yeah it's a that's a good size build plate adjustable belt tensioners are uh, been looks to me like they improved them over the last design so that's you know and the uh, belt itself used to have like a zip tie sit now they seem to have a heavy clip on there so they you know King Rune has improved the quality of this machine all the way around and it has always been a good price and I expect it will always be a, hopefully it'll always be a good price just so we cover some of the specifications. Oh, and before I forget, uh, the machine is rated at 200 watts, so she's not a big power eater either, So that's and that's a good thing. Uh, the machine's running on this next cycle, so there's a little bit of sound in the background running here with the King Rune, but uh, we, we did the tower. Th these, are, uh, these four pieces here are all supplied that are already on their TF card when it comes in, so it allows you to print the Benchy, which I did. I used their sample of white PLA, which I highly recommend. Don't bother, but you know, you can if you want to. I did. I regret bothering with it because the only problem you're going to have is the PLA quality. It's going to, the machine did a great job. The PLA, the PLA quality, yeah, not so great. I switched over to a PLA plus that I use all the time for the rest, for these other three items. The Z, uh, Y, X cube here absolutely flawless I mean just beautiful and then of course I did the tower I guess we'll call this the it's a tough tower because it has a lot of uh, details and it, it can be very hard for a machine to say print something like this up <laughs> there's a small stairwell in the bottom here that comes from the top of the tower down to the bottom but also there's a lot of detail in the tower and everything shows great no stringy no no weird things no strange offsets or anything same with this little head the little robot head guy, he, uh, excellent, you know, just good quality, excellent detail, uh, no problem whatsoever. And King Rune sent this over to me. This is filament. It's called uh, Silk Cosmos. So it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, item for making some really gorgeous prints. So I'm making something that's going to take a while. So this is just the telescope top to a, a dice tower. So that's going to be beautiful when it when it all gets done. I'm going to do the whole tower in this so it should be really something. So while the King Rune is making the next part for the uh, tower I thought we'd talk a little bit about the features and who this is really for because King Rune has a great uh, background here with 3D printing and they have huge support for accessories, parts, also filament and filament accessories even. So there's really a lot behind this particular company so you know buying into them you're buying into a family of uh, machinery and pieces that you can get a hold of so it's not really just a dead-end kit or something and also the, the kit itself is so easy to put together take you 10 minutes <laughs> including opening the box to uh, assemble and get it up and running right away uh, it takes up a small footprint so you know easy on power but also it's uh, it's compact it's fairly small so it doesn't take up a lot of space in the household which is really good and it offers 
everything we're building something really big today and we're building it in parts because you know sometimes that's the nature of the beast with any 3d printer a lot of times you'll have to make parts in order to build something big so this is a fairly large piece this is just the i think it's the roof or something to the tower i'm putting together right now that you're seeing this is also again some of the gorgeous uh filament from uh king rune they uh, have their own uh, family of filaments that you can look at, and there's a tremendous selection. The, the Pro offers just some increased uh, you know, features that the, uh, the older ones did not have, so they have, you know, they've improved the, just the overall of the machine. And a lot of people have really liked the uh, King Rune in the past, and this is just more reason to like King Rune. It, it just seems like it's a really good 3d printer for its price range so the favorite right now of the cantilever uh, 3d printers would be the king rune kp 3s pro i wish they wouldn't get all these numbers in there anyway but this is right now this king rune is really the it's my favorite right now it's pretty impressive and for a small price i'd say it's a great starter or intro kit if or if you're looking for a smaller printer small footprint this is it right here it seems like a really nice machine and i love the way it can run uh tpu tpu is like a really rubberized kind of filament kind of like a rubber band kind of thing let's talk about king rune yeah great company great support nice price so yeah everything is supposed to be and the uh interface here with the screen with a touch screen i think anybody would like that it's just it makes it easier to use these machines when you have that little touch screen and all you have to do is look up your file or go to your home or or you know check your print whatever you want to do just hit the button the way it goes you know so that's that's a nice thing but the just the overall build and also it's you know you probably hear because my microphone can pick up just about anything but it is a very quiet machine. It may not sound quiet on the microphone right now, but believe me, it is very quiet running, very smooth. So, you know, it's doing a great little job. Uh, fell in love with this uh, filament and I'm probably gonna have to order a couple of rolls for myself because I really like this copper finish that's coming up is like gorgeous. It's gonna be, you can build some, oh, just, I mean, look at this piece here. This, this is an absolutely gorgeous model that's coming up. And it looks, like I said, it just, it has a gorgeous, almost glass sort of, you know, look to it. And so, look, I uh, gotta thank Zoe over at Zbanix for sending this over to us so we could do it. And uh, she sent it in and we said, you know, let's review it, let's take a look at this. And I'll tell you right now, it is, you know, it is coming out just the way it should. So, hey, it's a good thing. I wanna thank everyone for watching Coffee and Tools this week always. Uh, we have different tools, different things going on. 3D printers are, for me, part of my woodworking experience and tools and accessories. Usually I don't make, uh, you know, this sort of thing. Well, this is to test the printer, but usually I don't make uh, toys. I make wood tools that 3D, off a 3D printer. And that can, that can be said here. This can do those kind of projects. So if you have a woodworker, or a metal worker or just custom or into crafts this sort of thing can really take it to a whole new level oh yeah <laughs> anyway thanks for watching and please like share subscribe ring the notice bell we've got a giveaway laser thursday on turkey day we're gonna do a laser draw and yeah that should be pretty cool meantime i gotta get out of here so uh, over and out